was a failed state in Pakistan when Musharraf came to power. Everybody who was around then and had been there and knew about it knew that it was a failed state. But let me tell you, you know this business about bombing Iran and all that? Let, let me tell you my record. Back in 1983, when I was a brand new United States congressman, the, one, the person I admired the most and still admire the most, Ronald Reagan, wanted to send Marines into Lebanon. And I saw that and I saw the situation. And I stood up and I voted against that because I was afraid that they couldn't make peace in a place where 300 or 400 or several hundred Marines would make a difference. Tragically, I was right. Nearly 300 Marines lost their lives in the bombing of the barracks. And then we had Somalia, then we had the first Gulf War. I supported, I supported that. I supported us going into Bosnia when a number of my own party and colleagues was against that operation in Bosnia. It was the right thing to do to stop genocide and to preserve the, what was necessary inside of Europe. I supported what we did in Kosovo. I supported it because ethnic cleansing and genocide was taking place there. And I have a record. And Somalia, I opposed that we should turn, turn the force in Somalia from a peacekeeping force into a peacemaking force, which they were not capable of. So I have a record. I have a record of being involved in these national security issues, which involve the highest responsibility and the toughest decisions that any president can make, and that is to send our young men and women into harm's way. And I'll tell you, I had a town hall meeting in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, and a woman stood up and she said, Senator McCain, I want you to do me the honor of wearing a bracelet with my son's name on it. He was 22 years old and he was killed in combat outside of Baghdad, Matthew Stanley, before Christmas last year. This was last August a year ago. And I said, I will, I will wear his bracelet with honor. And this was August a year ago. And then she said, but Senator McCain, I want you to do everything, promise me one thing, that you'll do everything in your power to make sure that my son's death was not in vain. That means that that mission succeeds, just like those young people who re-enlisted in Baghdad, just like the mother I met at the airport the other day, whose son was killed. And they all say to me that we don't want defeat. I know what it's like when an army is defeated. A war that I was in, where we had an army, that it wasn't through any fault of their own, but they were defeated. And I know how hard it is to root for, that, to, for a, an army and a military to recover from that. And we did, and we will win this one, and we won't come home in defeat and dishonor and probably have to go back if we fail. Uh, Jim, let me just make a point. I've got a bracelet, too, from Sergeant, uh, uh, from the mother of uh, Sergeant Ryan David Jopek, uh, given to me in Green Bay. And she asked me, can you please make sure that another mother's not going through what I'm going through? Now, they, no... U.S. soldier ever dies in vain because they are carrying out the missions of their commander-in-chief. And we honor uh, all the service uh, that they've provided. And they've, uh, our troops have performed brilliantly. The question is for the next president, are we making good judgments about how to keep America safe precisely because sending our military into battle uh, is such an enormous step? And the point that I originally made is that we took our eye off Afghanistan. We took our eye off the folks who perpetrated 9-11. They are still sending out videotapes. And Senator McCain, nobody's talking about defeat in Iraq, but you know, I have to say that we are having enormous problems in Afghanistan because of that decision. And it is not true that you have consistently been concerned about what happened in Afghanistan. I mean, at, at one point, while you were focused on Iraq, you said, well, we can muddle through Afghanistan. You don't muddle through the Central Front Ontario, and you don't muddle through going after bin Laden. You don't muddle through stamping out the Taliban. Uh, and I think that is something that we have to take seriously, and when I'm president, I will. Lady you, know, you, might, you might think that with that kind of concern, that Senator Obama would have gone to Afghanistan, particularly given his responsibilities as the subcommittee chairman. And by the way, when I'm subcommittee chairman, we take up the issues under my subcommittee. But the important thing is, the important thing is, 
I visited Afghanistan, and I've traveled to Waziristan, and I've traveled to these places, and I know what our security requirements are, and I know what our needs are. And so the point is that we will prevail in Afghanistan, but we need the new strategy, and we need it to succeed. But the important thing is, if we suffer defeat in Iraq, which General Petraeus predicts we will, if we adopted Senator Obama's set date for withdrawal, then that will have a, a calamitous effect on Afghanistan right. and American national security uh, interest in the region. Senator Obama doesn't seem to understand there's a connection between the two. I have some good news and bad news for the, <laughs> for the two of you. You all are even on time, which is remarkable, considering uh, we've been going at it. Uh, it's a for you, Jim. Well, I don't know about that. But the bad news is that all my little five-minute things have run over. So uh, anyhow, we'll adjust as we as we get there. But the amount of time is even new. Uh, new uh, new lead question.